Mengdal Arpur. Welcome from Read the Passage Myanmar EDU YouTube channel. Unit 1. Language. 1. What is language? 2. What do we use it for? 3. What does language do for us? 4. What would our life be like without language? Read the passage. The question, what is language, can have several different answers, and all of them may be acceptable. For our present purpose, however, let us look at language as, skill, tool, form, and function. First, language is a set of skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. They are often known as the four language skills. Of these four skills, the listening skill is the first to develop. It develops during the first 18 months of babyhood. The speaking skill develops at about the age of one and a half years or so. By about four or five years of age, the child is able to use his or her mother tongue quite efficiently. It is only when the child goes to school that he or she learns to read and write. Here, we should note that listening and speaking work together as a pair of skills, while reading and writing work together as another pair. We should note further that when we are listening or reading, we are not producing language, we are receiving language. That is why these two skills are often known as receptive skills. When we are speaking or writing, however, we are producing language. Thus, speaking and writing are often known as productive skills. See the diagram below. Second, language is a tool for communication. This means that we use language to speak to someone or to write to someone. To speak, we use vocal symbols. To write, we use written symbols. What is interesting here is that when we speak, we use gestures such as the movement of our arms, hands, heads, and also facial expressions to help the listener understand us better. When we write, however, we use graphics such as pictures, photographs, charts, tables, etc. to help the reader understand us better. Thus, we may say that speaking and gestures go hand in hand, just as writing and graphics do. Third, communication may be one of two forms, verbal communication and nonverbal communication. In verbal communication, we use words and sentences. They may be spoken or written. In nonverbal communication, on the other hand, we use gestures and graphics. See the diagram below. Fourth, we use language to help us perform many social functions, which are very much part of our day-to-day -day life. This means that we use language to greet or to bid farewell, such as, hello, bye-bye, see you later, etc. To pass on information, such as, the film Fast Evening was very exciting. I believe Dick failed the exam, etc. To ask someone a question or two, such as, how are you? Have you done your homework? Etc. To request, such as, could you please give me a hand? Pass me the salt, please. Etc. To ask for permission, such as, may I come in? Could I borrow your bike for the morning? Etc. To instruct someone what to do or how to do something, such as, take one tablet three times a day. Add a teaspoon of sugar and stir. Etc. To direct someone how to get to a certain place, such as, go down this road. Turn left at the traffic lights. The second building on your left is the museum. Etc. To thank or express gratitude, such as, thanks a lot. How very kind of you. Thank you so much. Etc. To respond to words of thanks and gratitude, such as, the pleasure's mine. Please don't mention it. You're most welcome. Etc. To apologize or express regret, such as, I'm sorry. What a pity. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, what a shame. Etc. 
to agree or disagree, such as, yes, that's right. Of course. Sorry, I can't accept that. I'm afraid you're quite wrong there. Etc. And to perform many, many other functions. In addition, language reflects culture, preserves culture, passes on culture from one generation to the next, preserves nationality, and also identifies social class. Read the passage for this unit is finished. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel. See you on coming unit, be safe, thank you very much.